Alright. Um, this boss battle can be hard, but it's not that bad. And also, um, here's a little thing. I'm going for, like I said before, I think, um, A rankings and all the SOS missions. Ah, that was quick. And, uh, guess what? Uh, depending on how much damage this guy does in this area, it actually affects the score on one of the SOS missions to get later on. So if you let this guy clear up the place too much right now, you're screwed for that mission. So, yeah. But, it's pretty easy if you know what to do to make it so that he doesn't destroy anything really. All you have to do is run up to his face and shoot him. See, he really can't damage you that much, and all the shots seem to miss everything, so... There you go. Knees dead already. Well, he's not dead, but whatever. You know what I mean. Confirmed ETR reaction from the target. Its main generator has ceased to function. We did it! I detect vital activity within the target. It appears that occupants are still alive. I am releasing the lock-on cursor. Target will be destroyed. Destroy it? Why? They can't fight anymore. Your question does not compute. Why not destroy it? Why should I kill when there's no reason to? I compute 17 clear reasons for such action. Most pressing is possibility of the target gaining access to another orbital frame and returning to battle at another time and place. Shut up! I refuse to destroy it. What's the point of attacking those who have no intention of attacking us? I think he Did does have an intention, but... Don't bother! I have to conclude that your reaction is extremely illogical. Illogical actions by persons without sufficient capabilities make it very difficult to fulfill the mission. You mean I'm not good enough to do this, so I should just shut up and obey orders? That is the most sensible course. So you say... Target approaching the of our range. Two seconds remaining. You may speak like a human, but you're still a heartless computer, aren't you? That is correct. What is the problem? Nothing. Forget it. And this is kind of a cheap move. Not only do you have to make sure you, the place doesn't get too damaged from the boss, they also do this. I detect several mass-produced orbital frames behind us. They are in the vicinity of the church. What? So nice! Enemy with a reinforced program. Be careful. Isn't it going to be kind of tight in there with two people? How are you supposed to pilot that thing with someone laying on top of you? Yeah, whatever. And yeah, I'm not going to stick around here. The only reason to kill these guys would be to... Uh... Yeah, screw it. The only, guy, the only reason to kill those guys would be to... get a sub-weapon, and a, it's a really bad one, so who cares? Are you hurt anywhere? No. So, you didn't find anybody out there? No. I'm sorry. For what? I shouldn't have yelled at you. Don't worry. I yelled at you too. But one thing that I want you to remember. You have to take care of your own life too. I understand. And you did manage to escape, didn't you, Father? And it's just not worth the chance of them destroying the place even more than the boss, so d just don't bother, really. You can get it when you go back for the it? SOS mission. At present, I have no idea. Look, they're serious about destroying the colony. Allow me to interrupt. I have to show you our mission orders. 
The aim of our current mission is to transfer this orbital frame to Mars so it can operate there. To accomplish that mission, our prime tasks are first to rendezvous with the civilian cargo ship the Atlantis, and then to escape from Antilia in convoy. We're in a state of battle alert, but with your lack of experience, I recommend we avoid battle as much as possible. I have visual confirmation that the colony has lost command of the air. Unfortunately, we need more detailed information about the colony. That will require returning to the area where the factory was. Once we are there, I can transplant the necessary information from the local server. After that, we will break through the enemy's control of the airspace, avoiding battle as much as possible. We are then to head to the other side of the colony and gain access to the spaceport by the transportation elevator. Do you have any questions? Yes, many. I see something shining in the sky. It appears to be some kind of energy field, but I cannot define it. That is a summary of our mission so far. Please proceed directly to the factory. I'll do as you say. Here are the latest headlines. Baram forces are still attacking Antilia as part of their invasion. Rescue workers have begun attempts to save patients in the destroyed hospital, but a fierce fire is still raging and workers are having difficulty gaining access. All those poor people can do is wait for the release of death. That's all for now. How awful. Damn it! Listen, Leo. Can't you help those people? How? Just like you helped me. Can't you do that for them too? Allow me to interrupt. As I stated earlier, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on our mission. But... just for a little while. This orbital frame and all aboard have been ordered to participate in operations on Mars. In order to complete our mission, we should not engage in any other activities. Oh... I see. Also, judging from the capabilities of the framework, hey. the risk rate for such an illogical action is very high. Ada, where is that hospital? Leo... I will pinpoint its location with a marker, but I must repeat, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on your mission. Yes, I know all that. I just asked. I'm scared too. Screw logic. I'm going there anyways. After I save. Eh, I'll just save over this one. I'm not going to use it anymore. Here I come.